channel so today we're going to talk about what's happening in the current news well um uh, there's is it world war three is it coming what are we supposed to are we supposed to prepare what are we supposed to do so yeah today i'm going to be talking about iran and uh, us and uh, what you guys or what i feel i think about the situation okay stay tuned so I know that you guys know what's happening and for those who do not know what's happening out there in the current news, I'm going to share with you what I know. So all this started the World War Three thing, all started when uh, the US President Donald Trump launched an attack on Iran, which killed this huge political um, uh, military leader by the name Qasim Soleimani. So that's where all the drift started and that's why there is this back and forth pull between Iran and uh, the US. So yeah, so you guys might be asking, who is this guy? Who is Qasim Soleimani? This man is one, was one of the most influential, influential leader. He was one of the most powerful man in the Iran yeah this guy was a military leader he he, he headed um, uh, Iran overseas operations and he was so much in uh, involved in the military deals of the Iran's with other countries and their military operations so actually killing this guy had a huge impact on the Iran country and uh, all those people who are involved with Iran, all those countries that are in support of Iran, there is Syria, there is Iraq, there is Kuwait, there is Lebanon, I mean, you just killed one person and uh, you basically made all the other peoples who are in contact with this country enemies, you know, it's such a huge thing and I feel like uh, the US president made a really, really, really big mistake when he launched that drone, when he gave that order to kill Soleimani. That is really, that was a really bold move. And uh, to think that this happened on Friday. So after it happened on Friday, what happened is that the Iran made sure that they gave three days for mourning. And uh, that meant that the funeral was supposed to be yesterday, which happened. And so many Iranians came out to mourn the death of this big person. And it's so sad, so sad that even in the, the US, the capital, New York, and all the major cities, the Washington, protestants and activists came out holding banners and holding, yeah? They were all out. They were all making sure that the US president was aware that this is not a good move. They are all scared, everybody's scared. Everyone is scared that there might be a World War Three. and who's to blame for all this? I don't know, I don't want to mention names, but <sighs> this is so scary. This is very, very, very scary. And those banners were saying US out of Iraq, no war with Iran. It was really sad and it was really scared. I mean, you could see, that the US residents were actually scared and everyone was scared about this bold move. I'm pretty sure that the Iran's right now are making, they're carefully picking up their tactics. I mean, they're carefully, you know, planning what to do, how to counter this attack. Cause the, what's her name? I do not remember the name of the daughter, but Suleiman's daughter, yeah. She asked the president, the Iran's president, whose name is Rouhani, she asked the president for revenge for the death of her father. So you can imagine all the countries which Iran is in contact with, yeah, and everything. I do not want to even think about the situation. I mean, what's going to happen if, if Iran, if 
Iran launches up. Oh my god, this is going to be really scary, but wow, that was really, really intense. Quite intense to think about it. Yeah, it's really intense because I know that um, uh, Iran set up a red flag for once in their history, they set up a red flag in their tallest mosque to signify this revenge coming. So we all have to be like, very vigilant because we do not know what will happen. But I'm pretty sure Iran is planning something and no matter how long it's going to take, they are going to do something about what the US did and uh, why, why? I am lost for words, but this is really scary, people. This is really scary. But we all just have to stay positive and we just have to be hopeful. And, uh, well, let's make sure we're not cut up in the middle, yeah? Because this is quite scary. This is quite scary. So, moving on onto a lighter note. I promised you guys that I'm going to do something at the end of this video for all those people who tuned in and uh, made sure that they've watched the video up until this minute thank you so much this is something i'm going to do uh, this is okay so i promised you people something and it's here guess what the surprise is i am going to be singing yeah 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 that is the surprise i'm going to be singing well, let's see how this goes i'm going to be singing lucky down by kerry hilson and i really hope this is not copyrighted music and uh well wait for it sometimes love comes around and then knocks you down just get back up when it knocks you down Sometimes love comes around and then knocks you down. Just get back up when it knocks you down. Hey. You must have seen. Mm, yeah, go ahead. I think I'm gonna kick it with my girl today. I used to be commander in chief for my pimp ship flying high. Until I met this pretty little miss who shot me out of the sky. Shot me. Hey, hey. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. I um, I have embarrassed myself enough. So yeah, I was so nervous doing this, but hopefully that was a good one. I don't know. I'm going to listen to this and figure it out. If I've posted this, this means that it was okay, and I do not have to repeat this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you so much for subscribing and liking my channel. I'm really grateful for you people and I keep saying subscribe, share, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys want me to do. Yeah, don't be too shy. Just leave a comment. Tell me what you guys want me to do in my next video. Yes. Bye bye.